gone to bed and why don't you go home? <laughs> oh, just oh, go ahead, oh, Al. Just walk. All right, folks. I'll sing you one that's guaranteed to drive you out of here. Nobody's ever heard of it. It isn't even in English. Harry, let's have the Hasen song, will you? Just give me the chords, you know. Well, this is the idea. The song's in Yiddish. I don't think you'll understand a word of it, so I'll give you a little idea what it's about. It's about a cantor back in the old country, all a long time ago. Now, a cantor is a man who sings prayers in Hebrew. And brother, how they can sing. Well, this one I'm telling you about had a terrific reputation all over the country, and he came to this town to sing on the Sabbath. Now, in a small village about, oh, 50 miles away, they were very anxious to hear him, but they were all too poor to travel. In fact, there were only three of them who could afford to make the trip. The tailor, the shoemaker, and the teamster. So those three went to hear him sing. And when they got back, the whole village gathered around and said, well, tell us, how was it? Was he as good as advertised? And each one, the tailor, the shoemaker, and the teamster, each one gave his own version of how the cantor sang. And from here in, you're strictly on your own. Okay, Harry, let's go. In a clean state, I'll let you down and I'll show you. Hoben die Kimmen zu Herren, die schönste Balabaten in Städtel. In a Schneider, oh, die zweite Raschuster, oh. And the dritte, Papa la gula, oh, the schönste Balabaten in Städtel. Mach der Schneider, oh, Wa <laughs> Get out of there. 